It's me again, Big Man at 007. We got something real wonderful for you today. Um, we're going to actually show you how to make your own motorcycle carrier. Now, I've already made it, so I got to kind of, you know, run through the steps on making it. Sorry, I didn't, you know, um, film it while we were actually uh, welding this thing together. But it's going to be awesome. All right, here we go. This is uh, Big Man at its very own motorcycle transport port. Right here, we built it ourselves. Um, the need arose uh, to build something like this because we were going out to uh, Bike Week in uh, Myrtle Beach. And, um, you know, if you're going to Bike Week, you got two options. You either have a trailer to pull or you have a friend that has a trailer to pull. Um, and I, I thought that that was really kind of inconvenient because if you go to any kind of biker events, you already know parking is limited. So if you have a trailer, you got to find a spot to park your trailer. Somebody might steal your trailer. Somebody might steal the bikes off your trailer. So <laughs> what I said is, you know what? It has to be an easier way. So I did a little research online, and I, I saw that they did have bike carriers, but I couldn't really find one that would actually support the weight of the Jixxon 1000. So I went on a little mission, and I decided to build my own. Now, the great part about having um, a bike carrier like this is basically I take the bike carrier, out of my storage, and if you can see how slim it is, it can fit in your garage. Look how slim that is. Fit right in the corner of your garage, and I just take it, sticking it to my hitch, and that's really that's really it. And I can still park in a in a regular parking spot, and if I if I drive a Durango, I can still fit in there pretty safely. Um, I mean, it just, it just worked really well uh, versus pulling the trailer. And as you can see, it's on there. We got the function for the uh, brake lights. What I do need to add is um, something for my turn signal right there because once you put the bike up there, it kind of blocks it. You know, I don't want to cause an accident or anything. Um, this is my ramp. Like I said, you can get all these pieces from, um, I think I got the ramp supports from uh, the hardware store. And I got the tread stuff. So that way I don't slip when I'm trying to bring the bike up. But it's, it's only a piece of, uh, I think it's a two by eight. That's it. Um, it's not even treated. It's a regular two by eight. I probably should have went with treated, but I was just worried about the weight. So I didn't go with that. Let me just put this to the side. Now, right here, we have typical metal that you can buy from any metal shop, any steel shop. Uh, we went with steel. Um, this is the first time I welded it. So I didn't use the, I didn't use the aluminum because the guy at the shop told me, hey, you can use aluminum as the same strength. And it can support the weight and it's lighter but i said nah i don't know it felt really finicky so basically you have your uh your center support that you put down and what i did is i used this angle and i made sure everything was even all right so when the weight is weight of the bike is on here it's evenly dispersed so this is the exact center line of these uh, two beams this is angle iron um it's only like it's less than a quarter inch thick and um total materials for this whole build was uh 75 dollars and I mean, I cut everything myself, but there's there's some steel shops that can that can cut stuff for you. Um, and the welding part, you got two choices: you have a friend with a welder, or you can go purchase one. Right now, they're pretty cheap; they're pretty inexpensive. Um, but if you if you weigh the cost on buying a um, a car carrier from a company, you're gonna spend like eight hundred, a thousand dollars. When you can spend seventy five, I think you can get a welder for like I don't know, hundred fifty bucks or something like that from Harbor Freight. Why, why spend all that money when you can do it on the weekend and have some fun and do it yourself? Okay, cool. You don't know how to weld. Fine. Use some bolts. <laughs> you can design it any way you want. This It's going to be a lot of drilling and a lot of WD-40, but you can use bolts to uh, the bolt this thing together. And, I mean, that's basically it. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you um, how we put the bike on. All right, so I'll actually I'll pull the truck out, and I'll actually put the bike on the ramp and show you uh, how we do it. And I can do it by myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty large guy, so it's kind of easy for me. But I'm going to show you real quick. We'll be right back. All right, so you can see I'm just going to demo how we uh, put the bike on here. Let's get your little ramp. Now we got right here. And then what we'll do is just basically take the bike, and we'll just push it up there and um, put the hooks on. All right, so, hey, just get your bike lined up. That's pretty much common sense. So what I do is a couple times, I'll just... Push it up a little bit. Check my back tire. Please check your back tire. 
like I said, the bike is 450 and this one is full of gas. So then we just, see I got it lined up. Then I essentially push it up. And right there, if you can see the front, little mic, come up, come up there and look, show them the front. Have a, uh, a wheel chuck right there. So that way the front of the bike, it sits down in there, bam. Just like that. So go back. So essentially that's how your bike will be. So then all you do is take your straps, hook them here, hook them there. And that's it, man. You're gone. Let's take your board, come over the front of the bike for me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can get in the video. This is clock. It? Yeah, you in the video right now. Hold the front of the bike. Yeah, don't, don't hold it on. Hold it. Okay, you got it? Yeah. Okay. So then you just take, take your ramp and just stick it back here. And what I do is I strap the I basically strap the ramp to the bike, um, to the uh, to the carrier, and that's it. Then when you get to wherever you're going, unstrap your bike, and I would get you know somebody to help you, but just unstrap your bike and also put it in the first gear once it's in there. And I just pull it on. That's it. This is that simple. And you know, like I said, you can park anywhere. You can leave it on at night. Put it in the back of your truck if you got to. And that's it. Big Ben and I'm out. Have fun. <laughs>